Hey everybody, it's Paul, 125 Roller Coaster Challenge, and we are here at our 22nd park of the year, people. And you know what it is? It is Playland's Castaway Cove, over here in Ocean City, right on the boardwalk. And basically, um, this uh, pier is over on the south side of the Ocean City uh, boardwalk here, and we're gonna go through everything. And right as soon as you come in there, you actually got their tickets, $1 tickets, but you can also buy them there. But we're gonna go over that in a little bit longer here. We're going to show you a quick little walkthrough. We're going to go and show you everything that this park has to offer. So when you come down the stairs and you enter, first thing you're going to see right here is Hex Beach Station. So they actually have a train right here. And they got a lot of cute little things here. Jilly's T-shirt shop and all that kind of stuff there. But right here is the train. And it, basically it's a simple little train that goes around this track here. And we're going to be going you know, through it uh, you know, most of the day here. but. I want to show you everything that this park has to offer because it is one of the better seaside parks. So as you come in here, you got sand art and you got a ticket booth here. Now with the ticket booth here, you can actually save as you go. Uh, you got $60, 60 tickets for 50 bucks, 125 for 100, 200 for 150, and the Gale Force Pass is $10 each. So what's Gale Force? Gale Force is the main reason why you come here for, as a coaster guy. As soon as you walk in, you really get inundated with a lot of stuff. So we're going to head to the right first because that's what we always do. And the first thing I want to hit is uh, right here, you got the Happy Swing. And every sign actually tells you how many tickets, but basically a glorified port swing, but a lot of people seem to like it. Next to that is a uh, convoy type ride. Kids attractions there. And then right by the entrance, which is kind of neat because at other parks, it's kind of more in the middle, is her Ferris wheel. Now, is it a world record Ferris wheel? No, not at all. But it's very traditional and it's running and it is only four tickets. So. And as you come around here, there is a speedway that's actually underneath the uh, Ferris wheel. So when you have a small park like this, there's no space that is wasted. So right here is the speedway. And like I said, that is right underneath the Ferris wheel. So we're gonna head down this way here. Right here, you got some helicopters. So a lot of kiddie rides right in the front. And then right over here is a coffee shop. So if you need to get smoothies too, so you have banana, strawberry banana, um, orange, mango, cream to gold, the whole nine yards. So basically here's the Ferris wheel. Right there is the boardwalk. So we're kind of right up against the boardwalk here. And right here there's actually a pirate ship. So unlike a lot of these uh, smaller independent piers, uh, this one's got a lot of stuff going on here. And I think a lot of it has to do with uh, their marquee ride. But this is a double shot. It is a drop tower. So you got a lot of tall rides here, unlike a lot of other ones. And this one's six tickets, so, you know, it's still uh, not pretty affordable, it's only six dollars. But right here is their uh, Buccaneer ride, which we're gonna brighten up just a little bit here. So that's right there, double shot. Now right here you see this burned out building, this was the arcade. They had a fire earlier this year, which uh, wiped that out. And of course right next to this, for two, only two dollars, they actually have a merry-go-round. Well, check it out, you got a zebra, you've got a sea monster. I always love it when you see a chicken. So you got a chicken right here. And right there, that's Whirlwind. So what's a Whirlwind? So Whirlwind is a small little uh, FNS, uh, actually Vista spinner that is actually kind of intertwined with the marquee ride, which you see behind there, which is um, Gale Force. So we'll let uh, Whirlwind go by here. It is a coaster credit. It's a boring little coaster credit, but um, it is what that is. Now, if you come over here, what I really like is when you go to a ticket booth, they actually tell you all the attractions and all the tickets. So for two tickets, you can get on four different rides. You can get on seven rides for three tickets. Four tickets is two, four, six, eight, five. And then the most expensive ones you get there are uh, six dollars there. The double shots, the log flumes, and stuff like that. Gale Force, you can get yourself a re-ride ticket, uh, or it's 14 tickets, or you can get that day pass there, yeah, which is nice. Now, right here, it's the merry-go-round that I just mentioned before, but right next to it is actually bumper cars. So one thing I definitely say is this pier does not waste space at all. Every millimeter's got something exciting and new. But right there's the arcade that's no longer with us. So this is Whirlwind. So there is a third. So this is one of the roller coasters. There's actually two more that are inside each other. It's kind of crazy how they stack them all together. But right in front of us is a stream uh, cyclone. So I do have some uh, stream flat rides too. And this is how you get on Gale Force here. 
right there's the entrance for Gale Force. But there's also another run. Oh, look, here's a water ride. So we're, of course, going to do a Let's Play a little bit later. But right here, this is Wild Waves. So Wild Waves, if you look right now, you see the blue. So the blue is 100% Gale Force. But you see that track right above me? Uh, the one that's gray? Uh, totally different looking track, too. Uh, that is actually Wild Waves. Oh, there is Gale Force going. So Gale Force is kind of like a... Um, it goes back and forth, so it's kind of like a uh, uh, tempesto. But here you go, you get to the top, and then you got yourself a vertical drop. And you got some really weird elements, and that's wild waves going on. So that's what I mean, they really intertwine their coasters. All right, so those are the, two of the marquee rides here, but we got a lot more to go. So right here is a Hurricane, which is another Moby Dick type ride. And then right here is the Extreme Cyclone. So, oh, there it goes again. Great shot of Gale Force going back down. And you know I gotta get on that again. It's been a little while since I've been on it, so today I'm gonna treat myself to that. There we go. So right there is that. And here goes the uh, Extreme Cyclone. So you literally have Hurricane going crazy here and Extreme Cyclone going crazy here. All right. Well, we're not here just to show you all that. We got more stuff to go through. This is a small in size, but big in stature. Now this is a ride right here. So look here. So let's just ride call. That's right, thank you for us. Actually, I don't say a name on this one. If you know the name, please leave it in the uh, comment section here. All right, here it is. Squadron 33. Six tickets. That looks extreme, but they got, like, literally... And look how close that gets to uh, Gale Force. So they are really packing a lot in here. All right. Now, if you come over here, you actually get to Alien Adduction, which is a traditional rotor. You don't really see the rotors much anymore, but they do have them. I know you got a Tilden World, but unlike a lot of the other parks, this one does not have the shell and has a head brace. Now right here is a Linus Launcher type ride. So people, I'm just not lying about everything being compacted in here. And we're still only on the right side of the, uh, the park here, so. And then behind that is the Golden Galleon, which is a fun house ride. Uh, look, they actually got the old barrel there where you gotta walk through the barrel, so. You got all this stuff in probably a hundred yards. So, because you can still see the drop tower back there. So that's where we are. And right here is a rock and roll. So they got a rock and roll right here, right next to the tilt whirl. The neat thing is a lot of the ones here on the Jersey Shore are 100% themed to rock and roll. Here's the tilt and whirl. And then last but not least right over here is called High Seas. This is their log flume. So we're gonna walk around this way quick. And now we're finally gonna go over to the uh, other side of the park, but here is the log flume. Now this one isn't, isn't the most intimidating, it's an up and down, but you know what, they still have it here. Now we're about halfway done with this uh, walkthrough, and if you're here so far, uh, definitely uh, make sure you hit the like button. It definitely helps us out with the algorithm and uh, lets us know that you actually like what we're doing here with these Explore videos. So while the train is holding us up here, we might as well show you the Lioness Launcher. There's the Golden Galleon right there. And here comes the high seas, so you can see that drop in a second. So there's two little hills, but um, I like the traditional hour ones more than those. But, all right, now we can pass. And as we pass, there is yet another, not joking, another Funhouse event here. So this one is actually called Raiders Art. So we got those. Now we're back at the Frog Hopper, and we're back over here by the Ferris wheel. So now we're going to cut across, and we're going to head to the other side of the park. But once again, this is on the south side of the boardwalk. Uh, pretty much, uh, yeah, more towards the. Uh, Wildwood, Sea Isles, and stuff like that. 
And of course, the, right here's that entrance. We give you a point of view. And right here is a flying trapeze and stinky feet. We've been seeing a lot of stinky feet on the Jersey Shore. It might be a Jersey Shore thing. And then we come over this way. A few more uh, things over here that we want to show you. So this is a tidal wave, which uh, basically you launch up and you launch down. And we see that train again. So over in this area, there's also a super slide. It has a good view of the uh, flying trapeze and all the things that come with it here. Now there is a reason why we're coming over here. So you saw the three roller coasters all jam packed over on that far side. Right there you see Gale Force going again. But when you come over here underneath this, there's actually another coaster credit people. And this one's called Pirate's Gold Rush. And you see it going up right now. And this is yet again, pretty much a kiddie coaster but it is a coaster credit. So if you're looking for coasters, right here, Pirate's Gold Rush is there. And then here you got these hover balls. We can actually hover and bump into each other. It's called Spin Zone. And then over here is called Pirate King, which is a dune buggy race. Uh, Beast buggies, this one's called. Pirate King is the uh, setup there, but as you can tell, these are beautifully crafted and all that kind of stuff. And then right over there is that. So that's all the stuff that's underneath this area. Now we're gonna head back out this way. And pretty much I gave you a full walkthrough. It's not a large park, but it packs a big punch here. So what was your favorite attraction that you saw here um, as you were walking down the main midway section there? Uh, also, there's a couple food places, games. What was your favorite? Uh, leave a comment and let us know. And also, if you got to the end, that means you kind of like what we do. So make sure that you like this video. It definitely helps us out with the algorithm. But you know what else it does? It lets us know that you want us to keep doing these kind of videos. And last but not least, um, if you're new to the 125 Roller Coaster Challenge, you might want to subscribe. Uh, it's a simple click for you, but it means a lot to us. And we are this is our 22nd park out of 50. So there is going to be a lot more content coming. And you don't want to miss a thing. So make sure you ring that bell. So once again, this is Paul, 125 Roller Coaster Challenge. We just explored Playland's Castaway Cove in Ocean City, New Jersey, and I can't wait to see you in the queue.